Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 15 of Crusader Kings 2. And I'm not even sure who we're playing as now because we did start off as the Duke of Gangavardi and we eventually got a kingdom and then our ruler died and we took the place of our son. Uh, but now our brother has actually got the Duchy of Gangavardi, which is the one that we started with, and it is no longer part of our kingdom which is really weird because it technically belongs to another kingdom and it's all kind of confusing and we need to go and get that back but in the meantime we are actually involved in another war so we probably want to go ahead and get that war over and done with first lucas is our heir but we can nominate a successor should we wish we could nominate our own son which we'll probably want to do although that said um Yeah, let's let's nominate our own son for the time being. Now, who is Lucas's heir? Let's have a look. Oh, you've actually now uh, joined the realm of this guy. You've you've gone and joined uh, joined him. Have you? Yeah, you have. But who is your heir? Your heir is my brother. And your heir is me. So if I unfortunately kill off Carr. Or better still, if we can start by killing off Lucas. There is some potential plot power there. Um, send gift. 15. Send gift, 24. We have a new heir. No, people keep voting for him. That is something I don't like. You've managed to get troops over here somehow. I don't know how you've managed that, but I don't like it. Vassal levies raised too long. He's sieging our capital, so let's go ahead and deal with that. Got no commanders on these side flanks. You've got no martial score at all, which is useless. Um, show commanders only. Wow, that's that's bad. We've got a bad choice of commanders here. Well, having some commanders is better than having no commanders. So let's go ahead and do that. Can't believe that uh, our brother decided to take our land away uh, back to another kingdom. So we've actually lost the original duchy that we started as now, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, we have a idle council member. Uh, you go and proselytize over here. You're moving down there, so let's go ahead and see if we can catch you. I keep doing as much damage to your army as I can now. Uh, you've already got that conversion done. Excellent work. Go keep smashing this army. 51%. His army's not going to take too much more of a bashing. Uh, my commander was cornered and slain by an enemy. Which is not good. Right, let's go down here now and do some more sieging. So how is that plot going against our dear brother? Um, was it you that I was plotting against? Where are we? Plots. We're at 73.6. I was willing to put some gold across your palm. I think you only technically have to be over 75. It doesn't have to be at 100% for it to fire. So let's go ahead and do that. What we could also do as well is we could take our wife. I think it's our wife, yep. And we can get you to... Uh, sabotage province, build spy network. Plot power increase, 6%. Let's go ahead and send you over the... That was the wrong province, wasn't it? It was this. It was here. I wanted to send you. I've just clicked on the wrong one. Don't. 
Uh, that's fine. Recruit Court Physician. Definitely want to get one of those. So let's go and do that. Uh, what have we got here? This is our courtier. She's got decent learning. She's a gardener. She's a rudite, shy, and trusting. Sure. We'll finish off this war. This is going to be a lot more difficult to deal with now because we'd literally have to... Can we get a war against you? You're, you're very strong at this point now. No, I can't declare a war against you. Why not? Oh, because we've got raised army levies. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. I mean, we, we are still the heir to that province, so if we do kill them off, we will be able to get it back. That's kind of the plan we're going for here. Child, that's an education focus. Let's go and give you... Um, Diplomacy or mar diplomacy might not be a bad idea. We'll, we'll give it a go. A martial there's, there's something to be said about a martial education. What is our actual... Um, we are war-focused. I don't mind that, actually. Having the extra martial is good. Um, let's go ahead and try and siege their capital out. Which is the actual province that we want. So taking that might be more useful. Um... What has happened here? You now have a new heir, which is Carr. Um, Lucas is still around. Uh, we've lost our marshal. It was pretty terrible. Um, you go ahead and train troops in... I guess down here. Yeah, this is this is the county capital. Yeah, our, our land is kind of split up at the moment, and I don't like that. We need to do something to sort of take everything back and, and reconsolidate. Uh, can we yet move our... Right, you go and start proselytizing somewhere. We've got dangerous factions. Vassal levies raised too long. So we're going to have to do a bit of plotting and murdering. Can we move mother back... Yeah, not mother, it's wife this time around. Yeah, build spy network, and this time, let's put you in the right province. So that should... In we've got a plot against us, which is fine. We don't really care. You can actually be ransomed off, so let's do it. 70 gold is 70 gold. Um, the plot power here should be increasing. Well, we did get 70 gold. Let's go and send you a gift. It's only 15 gold. We can increase that. You are my vassal. Could kill you off. Don't think I need to. It's gone away now anyway, so... To do so would be tyrannical. Are you, good? Are you seriously going to unsiege that before I get this? You are, aren't you? Yep, you unsieged it. Right, that's fine. We'll go over there and um, siege it again. We're at 92% anyway. Um, so if we go ahead and win this battle here, it might even be enough. So 92 goes up to 94. Still not quite. Let's go and siege out another one. I mean, this is a pretty pointless war at the moment. But given the fact that we... I've already started it, and we don't want the truce. We might as well go ahead and do it. So there's a few people forming alliances. That's fine. Hmm, how are we going to consolidate all of this together? Yeah, I'm really not all that interested. Are we part of a society with this character? Uh, we are not. We could try and join one, though. We'll give it a go. Lose 21 gold, that's fine. Uh, someone's opinion of me changes, that's fine. Extra diplomacy, excellent, cool. Right, let's see if we can go ahead and get this. If we can win this siege race, which I think we will, that should be the war won. 100% uh, is indeed. So let's go in and offer peace, force demands. We get ourselves a nice shiny new province. Uh, let's go and bring you guys back over here. Uh, there's no point... Who do we have down there? That's our Chancellor, isn't it? So you go and start fabricating over here now. Okay. 
So we need to see if we can get this back in some way. The best way of doing it is probably still by just um, getting rid of our brothers, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the levies. Still not quite as much plot power as I would like. Have a new air. Lots of things keep changing around here. Special character actions possible. Introduce him. So why does this all keep changing around? Why do people keep voting for other people? Yeah, we really need to sort of get, get rid of Lucas and then potentially get rid of Carr. We can... So if... Well, actually, Lucas... Lucas's heir is Carr. And Carr is, I believe... No, they're each other's heirs. Oh, I'm holding down the space bar again. Um, see, I am, I am his liege. Which is what I don't understand. If I am your liege, why is your stuff belong to another kingdom? It does not make sense. Um... Should be part of mine. Um, he's not independent. Yeah, I'd have to go and declare war on you. Declare war. Claim Gangavardi. That's what we'd have to do. Which we could do. Um, if we were to do that war, we could do it. We've got the money to get mercenaries. Uh, Harden, oh, which is our son, Hardan gets a close friend. Right, let's have a look. Um, how many men do you have? Two and a half thousand. Any alliances, pacts, no. Um, how many men do we have? Getting close to two and a half thousand. We could go ahead and hire um, some mercenaries. Get a holy order. Now, holy orders will only fight against certain people, I think. Hmm. The Holy Orders do cost a certain amount of karma. But they are big. What are the religions here? We're Hindu. We'd be fighting Hindus. Yeah, I think we just go with the norm normal mercenary um, company. I mean, we could get 2,500 men here from the Chinese. Let's go ahead and do that. We are going to go over here and uh, we'll let them get some, um, what have we got here? Visiting the monastery. Oh, we could become content. Do we want to be content? Reduces our intrigue. We want to be ambitious. Uh, we're not already ambitious. Familiar Kinslayer. Um, we're not going to donate to charity. Um... Sarson gaining some martial right you've gained that okay so you no pacts declare war claim Gangavardi send on pause for a day just to let stuff happen we are going to raise levies let's get you guys all over here together um you guys get straight in there don't even muck around you guys also get straight in there. We just we just we want to jump on that army straight away. Let's get all of the rest of you somewhere. Having just having decided that the relic would be much better safeguarded in my own hands, I must now tackle ta tackle the risk of how to liberate it from the confines of the monastery. And think of a few different paths to take. We can grab it and run, or we can bribe the abbot. I'm just going to grab it and run because I don't want to give away my money. I need it to pay my mercenaries. Okay, well our sun is getting better and better. Excellent. Right, let's try and get all of these men together. 
Deep in the night, I have snuck down to the relic's chamber. Adrenaline pumps through my veins as I take hold of the priceless artifact, savouring the feeling of it in my hands, but suddenly I hear the sound of footsteps turn around to find him looking at me, eyes wide. You have caught me. Surrender to him. Do public penance to atone for your actions. Minus 10 diplomacy. Use their surprise to make a break for it. We leave the society or leave no witnesses. We would become greedy. Sure. It had to be done. Well, that was unfortunate for him, but not so much for us. So, let's get everybody together here. Siege down Gangavardi, which is what we want. You're doing some more conversions. That is also great. My plot is revealed. You've let everybody know about my plot to kill Lucas. Well, it's already revealed, so I might as well just carry on with it anyway. Um... This group over here, hard and I'm leading the center. Um, the Chinese guy that came with the mercenary company is not very good. Is that plot still going on, though? Um, my plots. Yes, it is. Can we get anybody else in this plot at the moment? No, we cannot. Hopefully sooner or later that plot... I mean, the plot may not even need to fire as, as things are going on down here. We are trying to take... Uh, take everywhere so we will go and we will need to go up here and um, attack our this guy's army because that's who we're technically fighting against we're fighting against him but I'm not seeing he might just be trying to consolidate his forces or we might actually I didn't check he might be in another war uh, he is in another war uh, he is in a war against this guy here. So he's, he's, he's a little bit occupied at the moment. So that's fine. Child lacks an education focus. This is our other son. Uh, you can have the martial education. So that's that completely taken. Let's just carry on moving up. In the, th the, the, the quickest way probably for us to actually... Um, get enough war score. Oh, you just raised, you just decided to raise an army right where we were standing. That was smart. Um, the quickest way to probably get enough war score, it would be to um, just go and start taking ducal capitals. Ah, now here's a big army coming in. Can we catch him? Yes, it looks like we can. We do have the bigger army here. And I'm hoping that's going to go in my favour. Although it's looking pretty close. That was pretty close, but it did still go in my favour. Dangerous factions, though, because we did just lose quite a few, um, quite a few men right there. Um, let's go and chase you down. See if we can't weaken you up a little bit more. Let's not give you a chance to recover. Let's just keep causing you to break. I'm gonna chase you down once more. We're already at seventy-nine percent here, so I think a couple more decent sieges might well be enough for us we've actually we've actually caught lucas here which is ideal for us so we could go and kill him off if we wanted to and take all of this back but we're already at 84 percent um my co-conspirator has requested funds to arrange for him to die tragically in a botched attempt to escape from prison yep that's fine see if it works just going to keep chasing this army down. Success! Right, now the war has ended. And that didn't help. <laughs> because now um, it's still not ours. So I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. So who does this now belong to? This now belongs to Car. Now we are Car's heir. But Car is independent, I believe. It'd cost us some additional karma, but we can do this. Let's move you down into here. We are going to lower our levies. Hopefully we'll do this before we decide to rejoin this guy. So we're going to go and... Uh, we are paused. We are going to lower our levies, but we're not going to lower the hired troops. We want to keep those around. So we're just on pause for a second. Uh, we want to go back to car, and we're going to declare a war here. And we want to claim... So there's Gangavardi... Yeah, there's a couple of different ones here. Does your claim... I mean, we could force vassalization, 
But we want to claim Gang... We want Gangavardi. Because that, that was our old capital. And that was a good capital. We want Gangavardi. So that's what we're going to do there. We're going to claim Gangavardi. We are going to go ahead and we are going to re-raise the... Um, buttons. Re-raise the retinues. You guys all get down here. Now, does he have an army? Not as such. Um, let's group you back together. Let's go... Uh, looks like he's trying to get some men together in this province. So we'll let them group up there. And that's where we will make our move. He's got most of his men there together. So let's just go and march in. He's got a 100 stack that's going to get completely destroyed. And in fact, they did. Just split some of these men up. We don't have enough men here to siege all of this stuff, but we've certainly got enough men to... Um, actually, there's enough men here to siege. We've certainly got enough men here to do some significant damage and to chase his armies down, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's wake her up. Uh, think nothing, nothing of it. Yeah, so you're just going to march around with 12 men and not really be able to do anything. We're already at 30% war score. We're actually taking this one as well. So, yeah, this is going to go fairly quick. Our son is a charismatic negotiator, which is not bad. Uh, let's get him married. Any geniuses? 31-year-old genius. Um, there's one there. You're cruel but trusting and humble. Fairly decent stats. You're only 16. I want his wife to be too old. Sure. Arrange marriage with her. Um, we need to go and get a new court chaplain. You'll do. You are going to proselytize over here. Unmarried heir. There we go. That's now sorted. Victory. 42%. Um, let's go and interesting where you've just got that stack of men from uh, game plus one learning sure uh, hopefully we'll get there in time for this one call the court physician at once I don't think we are going to get there in time we did well we kind of did we arrived a little bit late to the party uh, we can advance in technology um, military organization be good we can actually get ourselves some retinues Let's start working towards that. So there's still a big army sort of marching around. You guys can go and join up together. Still got plenty of money at the moment. 68%. Now we've just taken that. 75%. News from China. They're in civil war. So how are things going on there? They're still isolationists, so we can't really interact with them at the moment. It's great the fact that they've added this cool new mechanic where there are times where you just arbitrarily can't do anything with it. Um, 79% now. 79% and we are about to take another province here. 85%. Let's go and march over. We can have another battle. We don't have any commanders, but we've got 3 to 1 numbers, so we should be good. Uh, these, this, uh, these conversions are getting in very quickly. Uh, 91%. Can we move you yet? Yes, we can. Uh, what have we got here? There's a a chance that we could become diligent. A chance that we could become stressed. We don't want to become slothful. We'll just take what we get. Uh, okay, yes, we can move you. Let's go ahead and do that. I thought we'd already converted some of these, but apparently not. So you're going to finish that one. This, this, should, this should all work out nice and quickly for us. Dangerous factions, which is often the case. 100%. We're on 100%. Let's go ahead and offer peace. Enforce our demands, and we get ourselves Gangavardi. So, unfortunately, right. Let's get everybody back to friendly territory. Um, yeah, originally this. So, what's my best city? It is still this one now. So, this is going to be my new capital. It does already have a hospital, which is nice. So, we'll probably have to pay to do a few upgrades here. Uh, I mean, there, might, there, there are already some upgrades in there, which isn't bad. Uh, we are threatening. Vassal inheritance warning. 
Um, pick an ambition. Uh, let's accumulate a war chest. That's fine. Um, we do have title loss and succession. We're still going to lose um, Gangavardi to our other son. It's really weird that we keep losing duchies, but that's fine. I don't know why, because they should still be part of the kingdom. We need to keep them as part of the kingdom. Um, but let's get all of our um, men together. Let's go ahead and drop all of those down. Uh, we can go and move our spy master now because we're not plotting. So we can go back and study technology uh, over here. And we're slowly starting to rebuild the kingdom. Uh, we can create a duchy here. Which I don't think we need to. We'll just keep it as part of the realm. We do still have to take this from... Uh, would you accept vassalization? No. Mostly because you have a negative opinion of me. Uh, not too sure we'll ever sort that out. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Either way, this is going to be the end of the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you are still enjoying CK2. I'll, uh, once again, a very big thank you to my Patreon supporter, Gamer Cowboy, for sponsoring this whole series. Almost forgot there for a second, and I wouldn't want to do that. So thank you very much. It is appreciated. I'll see you guys on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.